Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number six in our little day-night cycle. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And I'll also want to open up Mono Develop. I'm going to go back into Unity. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is take my lights that I have in my scene and rotate them to 270 degrees on the X axis. Which is, or you could also use 90 or negative 90 degrees. Uh, basically, you want them pointing straight up. Since our game is going to start at 12 midnight, so at zero seconds in the day, uh, in relation to our game, that's actually when the sun is directly below us and as it circles around. You know, this is going to be six, you know, high noon or 12 o'clock in the afternoon is going to be pointing straight down. So once we have our suns rotated, I'm going to go back into my script. I'm going to go into game time. Now I was originally going to have uh, a variable to hold when we're actually, what time we're going to start the game at. I'm always just going to start at midnight, so I'm just going to get rid of that. But I am going to add three more public variables here, and they'll all be floats. And the first one's going to be called sunrise. So this is the time of day we want the sun to rise. And we're also going to have one for the sunset. And we're going to have one more, which is a type float. And it's going to be the skybox blend modifier. And what this one's for is basically it tells the the game how fast to blend your skybox. So the speed at which the skyboxes, well, I guess technically it's only one skybox, so the textures in the skybox blend. Now let's quickly comment this one. The time of day that we start the sunset and sunrise the time of day that we start the sunrise so I'm just gonna go over to unity they should pop up when I have my game timer selected and they do now I'm gonna go back into model develop and there might be specific events that you want to happen during specific times during your game uh, for me, the only thing I'm worried about is sunrise, sunset, but maybe you want something to happen at midnight or at noon or any other time. And uh, accommodate for that, I think the easiest way to do that would be to make a enumeration. So I'm going to make it a public enum. And I'm just going to call this time of day. And then in here, you'll want to list these specific times of day that you want to take care of. Uh, when I say times of day, I don't mean the exact time, just uh, a name to reference that time. So I'm going to have sunrise, sunset, and of course, my first one is always idle. Now for everyone you add here, you'll also want to add another public float for it down here. Now I'm also going to add one more variable that's going to be private. And this is going to be a reference to what time of day it is. So it's going to be of type time of day. And I'm just going to call it underscore TOD. In my start function, I'm going to initialize this to be idle and of course I want to make sure I'm using the right variable here it's TOD and then at the end of my start function I want to modify what my uh, sunrise and sunset variables are so I'm going to say sunrise is equal to Actually, it's multiply equals to 
day cycle in seconds. And we'll also want to do the same thing for sunset. So we're just taking the input value that they give us in the inspector and we're converting it to seconds just so everything's running on seconds. Everything else in our little timer here is running on seconds. So now I'm going to go down to my update function and right underneath this debug log statement I'm going to add an if block. So I'm going to say if and then time of day is greater than sunrise then that's when I'm going to call my blend skybox and I'm also going to set our variable that's called TOD to be equal to time of day dot sunrise now there are a few more conditions that we're going to want to add to our if block but let's go down to blend skybox and we'll fix this up here. So I'm going to take this float temp line and I'm just going to end it like that. Then I'm going to add a switch case block and the switch is going to be our time of day and I'm going to have a case for each value that we stuck in our enumeration up here so well I, I'm not going to do idle but for every every other case besides idle so I'm going to have a sunrise and a sunset case up there so case time of day dot sunrise just going to put a break statement in there now and then I also want a case for time of day dot sunset and another break statement. And that's supposed to be a semicolon at the end. Now I'm going to take this line here that we cut the beginning off of. I'll paste it just above the break statement. And it's just going to read temp equals. We'll still want to get the time of day, but we're going to subtract our sun rise variable. And we want to make sure this is done before the division and the multiplication. So we'll make sure that's in parentheses. And this modifier over here, before we were, we had a two there because it had to work on two cycles. One for the from six in the morning to six at night, and then one from six at night to six in the morning. It's going to be different now. Uh, now we're going to be using the blend or skybox blend modifier. And I'm going to take the exact same line, paste it for the sunset, but the sunset's a little bit different. First off, instead of using the sunrise time, we use the sunset time. And the way this works is it starts off at zero with our blend modifier. So if I go take a look, our blend modifier is going to start off at zero. And as time passes, when it hits sunset, it scales up and for the sunset we want it to start scaling back down again so we know it's going to be at at least one possibly a, a little bit higher so we can also say temp equals one minus temp and of course you could add this calculation up here and just put more parentheses but this here just makes it easier to read for me now because of that, we're not going to need this line down here anymore. And we should be good for the first test. Now there was one other thing I did uh, when I was testing this out and I switched my skyboxes. I now have the night skybox for my first one and then my daylight textures in the second set. So you'll want to make sure you do that as well. So I uh, have a couple compiler errors. I have to initiate float to a value. So we'll just start it off at equaling zero. We'll go back in. 
disappears. Now let's start it up. So we start off and we see the time counting by. Here comes our sunrise. And I'm just going to see what that counters for. That's for the time of day. I don't care about that anymore. What I want to know is what my temp value is. So I'm just going to cut that and I'm going to put it right above my render settings. And let's take a look. So it's equaling zero. And it's still equaling zero. So let me go ahead and take a look. Of course, it helps if I actually fill in my variables here. So for sunrise, uh, you'll have to play around with these to get the sun to, like the skybox to change exactly the way you want it. Some people are going to want the skybox to change a little bit sooner than others. So by exposing it in the inspector, it gives you a chance to play with it. So I'm going to say at 10% of the day, the sun will actually start to rise. And the sunset, I'm going to say happens probably around 40% of the day. It'll start to uh, switch back to its night. And I'm going to give it a skybox blend modifier of 4. So if we test that out now, we let it run. So as we see, it's starting to count up. We have that slow blend to daytime. And that's about right where I want it to be for full day. But we'll notice that it's still counting up. And when it reaches about there, I want it to start being nighttime. So I want my skybox to change. So let's go ahead and change that. 